The inspiration in my career and being in wastewater has really come from the people that I've been able to work with and the changes that I've been able to see come about in the last 19 years. Uh, really gain inspiration with some of the newer people that have, have come through the projects that I've worked at and, and gone on and, and increased their careers in working in the same field and just seeing the impact that we have on the environment and the impact that we have on the communities where we work of cleaning up their wastewater streams and, and making the environment a lot better. Right, I was born in Mexico City and uh, nearby Mexico City many streams and rivers have been converted into sewer, they are pipes, you can't see them anymore. And now I work in a uh, wastewater treatment facility in King County and uh, I can see how this to past and present experiences can combine in the future. I can create new, I mean, not create, but clean these streams and rivers, and maybe not all of them, but at least one, and have some of these pipe streams become open again and have clean water so that future generations can enjoy them and and live what I lived when I was growing up. A wise man once said that there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. I've tried to incorporate that value into everything I've done from giving to the people that worked with me or for me, as well as the community that uh, I work in. I always wanted to make sure that I gave back to the community, to my workers, and to the industry. And PNCWA and WEF has played a large part of uh, being able to give back to others and to give to the profession. Uh, I also want to give to my grandchildren. Uh, to me, they're, they're precious. They're the, the joys of my life, my two grandsons. So to be able to give back to them means a lot to me. So I'm hoping that as I built my water legacy, that those words, more happiness in giving than in receiving, is reflected in everything I've done.